It was guys about too much old school me. And yes, yeah. so uh um it's been a while since I made a long video. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a long video. Yeah, 30 minutes later. But uh yeah. Palestine versus Israel. Alright, let's go. Who who's gonna win? No, I'm just kidding. But uh yeah. I made a short about this like the day after it happened, so October eighth. Uh but yeah. Uh, I basically said that all right, yep, what's happening is fucked up. I, I feel bad for both citizens of Israel and Palestine, but I condemn Hamas and also the IDF. I didn't say too much because, you know, it's a short, all right? Like, there, you can only make a one-minute video. If it goes over, then it's a regular video, and no one watches that unless you, you know, highly edit your videos, which I don't have that time no more. I barely have time for the shorts I edit right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Now, when I upload this uh, short, uh, YouTube put my video as limited ads. Now, a lot of you guys are probably going to say, oh, you, 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 so you didn't make that much money out of it, so that's all you care. No. Limited ads doesn't just mean, oh, you're going to get some ads, which means you're going to get some money, not as much as you were if it wasn't limited. What that also means is, yeah, we're not going to show this to everybody. Like, right now, that video has nine views. That shit came out on October 8th. So, you know, no one watched that shit. Unless you're a fan, which I don't have, no one watched that. So, um, yeah, like I said, uh, this was a short video. You know, it was only a minute less, so I couldn't put all my opinions. And also, I knew eventually I was going to make a full video giving you guys my opinions about the conflict and all what's happening. But uh, I thought, oh, all right, so maybe maybe once it gets better, I'll start uploading. No, it's 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 only getting worse. So it's like, all right, fuck it, just let, let's make a video. And also, I'm gonna be flying off the country. So uh, yeah, uh, so it's like, all right, let's talk about this right now because before you know, I, I it's gonna get busy. Or it, when I come back, I'm probably don't want to talk about this. So uh, yeah, first off, free Palestine. I think uh, both sides should make up i believe in a one-state solution i think it's possible for you know both uh diverse cultures to assimilate and and you know just coexist you know it's like oh yeah i know you're jewish and i'm muslim you know we could still talk to each other you know like um, america you know it, it did diversity right while other countries are just fucking it up you know like, and, and, you know, what's happening with the UK or even France, you know, like in European countries or even in South uh, Africa, you know, there's always tension between either race, cultures or even religion, you know, and that's could possibly happen with Israel if they make it to a one state. But overall, America, you know, America is doing well. So I think it is possible. But even when Israel says, like, oh, we tried negotiating with these beasts, and it's like, okay, there we go. That, I mean, I could already hear your bias. But, uh, yeah, like I said in my video, you know, Israel is the one that gets to control how the Palestinians live. They're the ones that could shut off their waters, their electricities, their food, and also that is backed by the USA and also has the most advanced military. But yet, they're afraid of Hamas. You know, it's like, do, does no one know anything about history? Like, does anybody know how humans work? If you oppress a group of people, they're going to fight back. If you make a group of people's lives miserable or so awful, you know, they're going to look at, you know, alternatives, alternative governments or alternative people to look up to, you know? I remember a video of, you know, Pierce Morgan when he was like, you know, arguing with Palestinians, uh, uh, journalists or just people. Uh, he was like, oh, why don't Palestinians have their own Nelson Mandela? It's like, well, it's because the IDF keeps shooting at these protesters and also they assassinate all these um you know peaceful protesters so it's like all right so you know the only way to t to tell the idf that your lives are horrible you know you're peacefully protesting you know you you're making your voice loud you you, you get shot for it so it's like all right so the peaceful way is no longer working so it's like all right, so I guess we got to get violent. This is like, this is the only way. And also, uh, you know, Pierce Morgan, he wants to whitewash uh, Nelson Mandela. Uh, he's done some violence. Now, he's not as violent as Hamas, but to achieve freedom, violence is eventually going to have to happen. You know, like if, if you're dealing with an imperialist, uh, you know, country that refuses to give you rights, uh, you know, fighting for rights 
is a good thing to fight for, you know? So the reason why Hamas exists is because, you know, the Palestinians, they have no government. Even though they might have voted for them, it was only once, and they were the only choice. There was no opposition. There was no, like, other governments. The Israelis pushed the Palestinians to become Hamas supporters, you know? It's like, and they, 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 the Israelis act like, oh, you know, well, we tried everything. It's like, hmm, have you tried not bombing them? Have you tried not taking them out of their houses? Have you tried, you know, uh, stop shooting them whenever they peacefully protest? But no, it's collective punishment. It's, oh, well, there's, um, I heard there's weapons in that hospital. Well, everyone there is going to have to die. I mean, I, I mean, if, if anyone's there, we, we, I mean, we told you that we're going to start bombing Gaza. Why haven't they left? Well, it looks like they're all Hamas then. So just imagine you're a Palestinian. You keep hearing about all these bombings. You know, they're, they, they're bombing hospitals, your neighbor's houses. And also they're getting kicked out of their houses. And, and Jewish settlers are, you know, coming in and taking it. And also, whenever you protest, the people next to you get shot. It's like, all right, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know, and all this is great recruitment for Hamas. It's like, yo, look look what's happening to us. I mean, don't you want to fight back? Don't you want to, you know, kill all these settlers in, in our territory? So no, Pierce Morgan, there isn't going to be a Mouse and Mandela or an MLK type of leader coming out of Palestine. It's already too late. Their next leader is going to counter with violence. It's either going to be a Ho Chi Minh or a Mao Zedong or a Fidel Castro or a Che Guevara. This was no one's fault but the IDF. The IDF is the one that gets to decide how the Palestinians live. And, you know, why not just make their lives a little better? No, they're, they're not going to do that. So, yeah, it was, uh, I'm going to try my best, inevitable. I think I pronounced that right, that this was going to occur. I mean, if you look at history, you know, if you keep oppressing people and... If they try to peacefully, you know, ask for their freedom, well, p they're gonna they're gonna get it. <laughs> Either it's gonna be peaceful or violent, and uh, violent is usually the last thing that happens. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty sad, you know. Like right now, the IDF is bombing Palestine, and soon the IDF is gonna have a full invasion. They're gonna have a, they're gonna be having troops, you know, down there invading, you know. Yeah, like, uh, it's it's depressing. You know, it's very sad. You know, like, Jesus, man. You see the aftermath, you know, the buildings, they go down. And then you hear about the hospital where they they don't have anything no more. Like, they're, they're doing surgery on kids without anesthesia, and they're screaming and crying, and their parents have to hear from afar. And the, also, <laughs> those hospitals getting bombed. And also, I heard about, like, a, a journalist losing his family in a bombing. And, you know, he had to do an interview, and the interviewee said, yo, I'm sorry about your loss. But anyway, do you, do you condemn Hamas? It's like, bro, you really, te you really telling me that right now? So, yeah, you know, very messed up situation. Hopefully it gets better. I sound like a child saying that. Oh, it, they, things will get better. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about celebrities' takes. So, uh, yeah. There was a lot of celebrities that gave their takes, and it was a uh, it was pretty bad. So LeBron James came out and you know gave his take, and it's basically uh, he's pro Israel. And oh my god, like a lot of people pointed out saying, "Bro, he did not read this Malcolm X book. <laughs> he did not do that shit." Even you know, if, if there's interviews where you know they're asking LeBron like, "Oh, what did you think about the book?" He did not read that shit. All right, he was not reading that shit even then. He was like, um, yeah, he was a uh, he was a very smart man, you know, very smart man. Uh, he changed a lot. He was like, yo, that's not like me when I was six, you know, <laughs> my ADHD ass, like fake reading t in front of the in front of the what's it called teacher. Like, oh, we're 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 reading in our heads, and it's like, oh, what did you think about the book? Uh, it was it was good, you know, uh, it really it really changed my world. <laughs> And also, same thing with uh, Floyd Mayweather. He said he's sending, like, a private plane to send aid for the Israelis, you know? L here's the thing. All right, like, l listen, I, I understand there are Israelis, you know, that were victims of Hamas, you know? They were attacked, and they need help, too. But what about the Palestinians? <laughs> what, what about them? They are getting bombed right now! They, their electricity, their food, their water has been cut off. Now, I understand, maybe there's something happening, you know, like, right now, that, you know, they are blocking food 
to um, Palestinians. So, you know, like getting resources is going to be hard right now. Uh, but like, why did he just pick a side? Like, you don't have to pick a side in this situation. Now, again, I'm not saying, you know, oh, you got to fully support Palestine and Palestinians, not Israelians. No, you could support both of them, both civilians, victims, I'm talking about. You can support both of them. But all of these celebrities are solely supporting Israeli civilians that are victims, not, not Palestinians. The Palestinians that are, you know, victims right now, that are getting killed right now, that are starving right now. No, just just Isra Israeli lives only. Like this situation is shitty on both sides. You know, there's the IDF and Hamas. I mean, what what, what what could you choose? Like, you know why Hamas exists? It's because of IDF. Now another thing, I'm not roasting these guys because you know they're they're in sports. It's like what what are you guys talking about? Like go go back and dribble. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm fine with you know people giving out their opinions. You know, especially you know sports figure. You know, like I mean, fuck it. Both of these guys are trying to be as iconic as Muhammad Ali. Shit, like Le LeBron James says it himself. Muhammad Ali wasn't the greatest of all time, not just because he was in the ring is what he was doing outside of the ring. Floyd Mayweather, you know, boasts about, oh, I got the most wins. So that means technically I'm better than Muhammad Ali. And it's like, no, no, you're, you're not, right? You're, you're not him. Shut up. You're, you're not him. <laughs> Justin Bieber did the same thing. Uh, he posted a picture of, you know, a bu buildings being demolished from, I guess, bombings. And he basically said, you know, pray for Israel. But people pointed out that that image isn't Israel. It was Palestine. When people told him that, he deleted it and just never talked about it again. <laughs> he never, he never said, "Wow, that that's that's Palestine." Well, pray for Palestine too. Nah, nothing. He, it's like, oh fuck, I got exposed. All right, I don't want to talk about it. Sarah Silverman also had a take too. She basically posted it on Instagram saying, "Listen, we cut off the Gazans, you know, water and electricity because we said simply release the hostages and we'll turn it back on." That is the definition of collective punishment which is a war crime. But uh, recently, someone asked her about uh, that post, and she was like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was kind of mad. I was high. That's why I posted that. Uh, yeah, I, I t I, that's why I deleted that. <laughs> now she's taking that shit back. It's like, uh, yeah, I, I, I did say that, but uh, I didn't really meant to. And then there's Amy Schumer, which I think, in my opinion, is probably the worst um, so far, right? Like, I can't tell the future. I don't know how long this war is going to last. Uh, but if, if this war is going to last long, uh, we're probably going to get a lot of cringe takes from celebrities. But for right now, this was originally posted on Instagram. But, you know, I think she took it out. And now, like, people are just reposting this. So it says, um, first they came for LGBTQ. And I stood up because love is love. Then they came for immigrants. And I stood up because families belong together. Then they came for black communities. And I stood up because black lives matter. Then they came for me. But I stood alone because I am a Jew. Man, the lengths white women do to make themselves seem oppressed. Yes, Amy Schumer, you're alone because no one wants to do genocide. Like, she really doesn't see how ironic it is for her to see oppression, like, oh man, look, at black people are getting oppressed. Oh, gay people are getting oppressed. Immigrants are getting oppressed. Palestinians? Oh, um, they're, 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 they're monsters. We, we gotta kill them all. It's like, it's really? You, you don't see the similarities? You know, you, you, you say, oh, I'm alone because I'm a Jew. You don't see any similarities where the Palestinians are going through, you know, they're getting kicked out of their house, they're getting pushed to ghettos, hmm, you know, the, the open air prison, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're not gonna see it, so, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, you know, I gotta, I gotta go, away. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to a trip, I'm gonna leave the country, so, I'm trying to, I'll, I'm trying to do as much content, uh, right now, so, uh, yeah, I know there's probably a lot to say. I, I probably didn't say as much as I wanted to say, but, you know, free Palestine. Um, you know, when I say the IDF, I meant the IDF, the government, all right? I'm not dog whistling like, oh, you know, when I say the IDF, I really meant Jews. It's like, no, I am not saying that. I am not implying that. I'm just talking about the government, not the people, not Jewish people, all that. No, all right? That's all I'm criticizing is the government. And I'm also acknowledging that, yes, there are Jewish people that are in Israel that have been victims of Hamas. Hamas, I condemn, like I said. 
so yeah you know um hopefully you know <laughs> the world gets better so yeah hopefully they figure this out <sighs> hopefully hopefully all right like shit man it's it it seems like it's only gonna get it worse all right like like the best case scenario a ceasefire and they stop fighting each other but it doesn't seem like it 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 looks like it's gonna get worse america that we're just america is basically just watching israel do this and they're they're really not going to do anything so very sad situation and uh yeah that's all i'm gonna say hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe follow me tiktok and twitter so you can keep up to date with my content and uh yeah bye